Good morning. I slept pretty good last night. I had uh, gotten to the shelter while the uh, couple hikers were out uh, at the fireplace. I had a little fire, which I wasn't keen on because that keeps people up. But they didn't uh, talk too long and they knew how I felt about that type of stuff, so they were pretty cool about it. And uh, when one hiker we lost what, long days on a really nice shelter, or privy, <laughs> nice door and everything. Um, when he went off to his hammock for, for uh, sleep, and this guy walked 25, 35 miles a day. He's a fit young guy. Oof. He used to be 60 pounds heavier, apparently. Anyway, um... Okay. Anyway, um, uh, yeah, the uh, Spanish fellow uh, from Europe, who's also walking the long trail, uh, I think today is his last day, um, he stayed up at the fire for a while, which was kind of a nice flickering glow that kind of came into the shelter, and I really liked the lighting, it felt nice, and he wasn't talking. There was no noise. Of course, when he came into the shelter, um, again, maybe a little bit in experience with other people in the shelter, he's just like kicking his shoes off and bonk, bonk, and stuff like that. Headlamp going and firing all over the place. <laughs> but uh, after the experience a couple nights ago, I mean, it wasn't that bad. Um, yeah, slept okay. I had to get to the bathroom at one point, but I got out. And, it's got it's super clear and uh, I can see the Milky Way and it's kind of neat. I wish there was a more open area to look at the stars. Um, and I grabbed a couple things that were my stack bag, my pack that I realized they were still in there. And some pepperoni and cheese <laughs> and an orange while I stood there at like one o'clock in the morning. And uh, yeah, I got up at 5.30. It's 6.30 now. Uh, pack is ready except for the food bag and what I'm about to do and uh, I'll be heading off. I'm going to do at least 20 miles today. Um, I see that the hostel I wanted to go to, the um, Seven Tribes, is like 40 away. So I've, you know, the more I do today, then the less I have to do the next day. Anyway, I'm going to come back to this in a minute. <laughs> anyway, um, that uh, one guy, he... And I was going to go, I mean, it looks like he's late 20s. He's going to uh, become a professional registered dietitian and uh, go to first master's. The idea of finding a way to get the B grade uh, produce uh, available for lower income families so they can get that instead of eating the junk food. Well, It'd be a tough fight, but good luck. Um, <laughs> yeah, well, the uh, ladies that uh, I'd been at the shelter with last night, the one really fit one, like a CrossFit chick. <laughs> she was fit. Anyway, I would have liked to have seen her again. But, um, uh, and a stargazer. I guess they must have either split off to her somewhere else or gone on to the net shelter. It was a cabin, it was about four miles further, and, but it would have been too dark by the time I got there after everything I did yesterday, all the side trips. Um, so it was a good day in that way, interesting. Uh, I know Hollywood Tom is, again, going to be way ahead of me if he didn't bother going down to the resort. Well, that's what I really got. And, uh, yeah, the more miles I can put on today, the better. I don't think there's anything other than uh, two thousand foot climbs. Uh, hopefully they won't be rocky and that type of thing. But it's definitely going to get hillier uh, after that. Uh, I'm hoping to get to the Seven Tribes. Um, not tomorrow, but the day after, I think. Get the batteries charged and stuff uploaded. Very tempted to go to that hostel in the town here, though. 
So I'll still give that some serious thought before I pass it by. Anyway. <laughs> Nice day today. Uh, looking at the clouds this morning, or the sky, uh, it was a very high cloud, part of it, some of it blue. But uh, most of the morning it felt quite gray, like rain. And I just walked through a power line section and you can see off in the distance uh, the hills and uh, everything looks like a rain type of uh, appearance. Uh, high cloud, low cloud. As I walked through the bushes, they were a bit wet. And I'm thinking, hmm, maybe it's gonna rain today instead of being nice, as predicted. Well, just tells you you can't be sure about the weather. That's for sure. Go figure. This is not uh, two minutes later. I'm walking through a part of the forest. With the sun <laughs> popping through. I don't know about the weather. Also, that uh, hostel I was thinking about going to. Um, it's not in this town. I've found out. It's a couple of days away. So maybe I do that instead of the seven tribes or seven tribes in a bit or one of each. I don't know. I'm not exactly sure how close they are to one another. I have to check that out later. But uh, when I commented that I left, it did mention about one dollar Ben and Jerry's ice cream. Boy, and that all you can eat uh, breakfast that you make yourself, including uh, pancakes. Uh, sounds very attractive. I don't think uh, Seven Tribes has any freebies, so, and, uh, I don't know, um, I think one is a town earlier than the other, the nice sounding hostel is in a upscale town, it's supposed to be 
Um, well, I should get my eyes on it. Uh, otherwise, pricey. But, uh, so it probably wouldn't be where I would go for the resupply. But neither one of them are right on the trail. Uh, I think the really nice one has a trailhead drop off. I don't know if they pick you up. It's like a three or so mile walk in. Um, the tribe is, I think they have a shuttle um, pay for, maybe not dependable when it runs, etc. I think three dollars or something like that. So there might be a bus. Anyway, it's never laid out very well, and considering they're looking for hikers, they think that they would be better at describing how to get there, or how easily you can get there and back, because that's important. Okay, later. Well, I plan to stop at the pond at the bottom of the, uh, well, valley between the hill I was coming down and the big one going up. Ooh. Oh, when that happens, sometimes the hip nerve or something. Anyway, but um, yeah, I was gonna fill up a water bottle so I'd have plenty of water for the hill climb. And Pop is there. Apparently, he had been to the next shelter and uh, he went into town. It's the first car came along, picked him up, took him in, resupplied, had. Sounds like he went to McDonald's as well. Anyway, when he comes out of the store, the guy says, hey, you need a ride to the AT. <laughs> and gave him a ride right back. So he spent the minimal amount of time there. And uh, we talked for a while about where we're heading. And uh, a couple of shelters I was telling him, or hostels. So we're going to uh, meet up at the shelter this evening that I was aiming for. About a 20 mile walk for me, 22. It'll be nice to have someone there. I know. We can uh, talk hostels. <laughs> That'll figure out where that one is again. I thought it was Rutledge, but I couldn't find it again on that uh, list. Anyway. Oh, good to see him again. He said that uh, Hollywood Tom had passed half an hour earlier, so I might bump into him along the way. But uh, knowing him, it's go, go, go. Well, I passed pot, so no, no pots. Uh, Hollywood Tom at the bottom, well, on the hill. He said he might be coming through Vancouver Island. So we're gonna exchange info. And uh, the gondola at the top of the ski hill is running. So maybe he'll take a ride with me down to the bottom and uh, just have a little ride. Well, I just found out that uh, free ride down, but they want $18 for us to come back up. And I'm not gonna spend that amount of money. I mean, it is not worth it. Not at all. I mean, the other place, they did it for free. Jeez, what was the deal? Apparently, a couple weeks ago, they were doing it for free here, and then somebody got onto them for doing that. So, view's nice and all, but yeah, I mean, it's sort of expensive food at the bottom anyway. So, we'll have lunch here. Yeah, not a cool wrapper or anything, just send this over there. Uh, I just uh, spent a while uh, checking on my CBC. Uh, visa and uh, finding out what I owe and logging into Ghost Capital and setting up the payment and then going to Tangerine to move some more money from there to the Ghost Capital <laughs> account to help make up the money that they needed to pay the credit card and da 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 da, da. Anyway, it's almost noon now. I've probably been up here for close to an hour. So uh, time to pick up my boots and get going. I've still got many miles to go to get to that shelter. Um, uh, forgot to give the contact info to Hollywood 
Tom when we were up here having our lunch. <laughs> That's why we were stopped here. Uh, so I'll probably catch him on the way down. And anyway, he, he knows on the AT uh, yearbook uh, I'll be in there. So uh, even if I forget to give it to him later, if he gets the yearbook, he can find me and and uh, get my uh, email address. So just as well. Okay. Well, get up and get moving. Get up and get moving. Get up and get moving. Okay. Very colorful looking berries, although I think they're flowers. <laughs> Wouldn't try to eat one. Although, I could use an ace. There's just a grape or something like that. I think I made it to the top of at least one of my peeps. And a uh, cool breeze up here, almost cold. Won't be in it too long, I'm sure, before I descend and then ascend or something like that. I've got at least 10 more miles to go. So five hours worth of walking. Uh, be there about 6.30, I'm guessing. But I'll double check that hook. Oh, this section of the trail is <laughs> got this planking, but you don't see this a lot. And when you do, it's only like, you know, six or seven planks long or something like that. This just goes on and on, it looks like. Oh, I'm sure it's not that far, but. There are campsites that are just off of it, and it's not far from that shelter. That is one where apparently you have to pay six dollars to be there. Now there was no caretaker there. It didn't look like that great a shelter. It's bigger. But uh, yeah, Sunday afternoon, it's like 3.30. Not a lot of uh, campers out here. Maybe that's why the uh, caretaker isn't around. Maybe they only come out on Friday and Saturday and leave sometime on Sunday. Who knows? A little lake to the left here. Not sure if that's a beaver pond or, or not, but anyway, yeah, planking 
Still going on. Don't see the end. I still have three hours of walking to do. And I don't think I'll have planking for three hours. I wish. You have to walk up stuff like this. All the way down. You <laughs> can't see much of it, but I mean, look at the elevation. And I still have at least that, and who knows how much further. And it's not exactly the easiest with a backpack. <laughs>